You're on. Hey guys, I need your attention. We're gonna hey. make a short message and then we're gonna eat. But we're here with a ministry called If Not For Grace. Can we just give a thank you? Real quick, just clap your hands. Thank you, thank you Terry and Sue. So guys, I don't know if you know this. Did you know that Jesus did not have a home? My friend Brian told me that. The Bible says that foxes have holes, birds have nests, but even Jesus didn't have a home. He wandered around and shared the gospel with people so he can understand the pain we go through. He can understand the hardships in our life. And I want to read from you from the book of Nehemiah. I'm sorry, the book of Nahum, chapter 1. So this is the word of the Lord. God is jealous and the Lord avenges. The Lord avenges and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries. That means his enemies. He reserves wrath for his enemies. But also it says the Lord is slow to anger and great in power. The Lord has his way in the whirlwind, verse 4, and in the storm. The clouds are like the dust of his feet. So everyone take a second, look at those clouds. See the clouds outside? The Bible says the clouds in heaven are just the dust of his feet. That's how big this God is. Even the clouds are just the dust of his feet. And this God is so powerful. He's so good and holy, but he also judges sin. But the Bible says he's slow to anger. Guys, listen, I need your attention. He's slow to anger. He's merciful. And that's why he sent Jesus. Now listen. See this rope right here? Everyone take a look at this rope. See how long it goes? It goes all the way down there. This blue spot, this blue spot on the rope, everyone see the blue spot? This represents your life. This represents your life right here, this blue spot. It's so small. And the rest of this rope, this entire rope, represents your eternity. This rope represents your eternity. And the Bible says that the way you live in this blue little section that we call life, that the Bible says is just a vapor, so small. The way that you live in this blue section has everything to do with how you'll experience eternity. And the Bible says if you reject Christ in this short little moment you have on earth, the Bible says you'll have eternity in hell separated from God. The Bible says if you accept Jesus, you'll have eternity, this whole rope, millions and trillions of years with God. You'll have eternity. Guys, listen. You'll have eternity with God. And if you live for God, while you have this short life, God is going to give you rewards in eternity. He's going to bless you. Amen. So, man, what are you doing with this little blue section you have in your life? Are you accepting Christ? Are you following Him? Are you surrendering to Him? Are you dying to self or are you living for yourself? Because, guys, your life, the Bible says your life is a vapor. You see the smoke coming out right now? You see how small that is? It just passes away. That's what our life is like. And I want to encourage you to believe on the name of Jesus. The Son of God died on the cross for your sins. In this blue section, we have a chance, a short moment, to accept Him or reject Him. He died, the Bible says Isaiah 53, He bore our sins in His body on the cross. He died for our sins. And three days later, what happened? Someone shouted out. Three days later, what happened? He rose again. He defeated death. And if we believe in Him, we'll rise again with Him in heaven. All right? So man, this is the question I want to leave you with. What are you doing in this moment is going to affect how you live your eternity. You have a short life on earth. I want to encourage you to live it for God. All right, I'm going to pray. We're going to close. Thank you guys for listening. All right, guys, bow your heads, close your eyes. Dear Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. Thank you for rising again. Thank you, Lord, that you, Lord, you didn't have a home. Even the Son of God didn't have a home because he wants to relate to us. Jesus, you suffered because you loved us. You want to save us from judgment in hell. You want to give us eternity in heaven. But you also want to set us free from bondage to drugs, bondage to sin, bondage to living a life that's aimless. But, Lord, you want to give us direction and purpose. And that's why you died, so that we can live our short little blue take life for an eternity of rewards in heaven, eternity with you. 
So help us to number our days, to realize life is short, and only you matter, Jesus. Yes. Pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank, Amen. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.